Top 10 Places to Visit in Ghana, Africa Are you the kind of daring person that relishes the opportunity to discover some of the most breathtaking natural settings on the planet? You should go to Ghana if you ever get the chance to visit Africa. In this article, we take a look at the top 10 tourist attractions in Ghana. When people want to go on vacation, they search for places to visit in London or the best places to visit in Paris. Both of these cities are popular holiday destinations. The Western world does not monopolize the globe's most stunning locations. Africa is also a blessed continent. You won't believe that countries like Nigeria, Ghana, South Africa, and others in Africa have such stunning natural landscapes. Subscribe to this channel before we start a countdown. Number 10. Kakab National Park Everyone who goes to Ghana needs to spend some time exploring Kakam National Park. The park may be found in the southern part of Ghana, the central region of Ghana, and runs along the shore. There is a substantial amount of land there, measuring up to 145 square meters in total. There are a large number of endangered creatures, including elephants and antelopes, that may be found in Kakam National Park. The canopy walks in the park are hung around 30 meters above the ground and give visitors a sense of adventure, particularly those who have a healthy respect for heights. You may get a good look at the surrounding forest and nature from that vantage point. Number 9. Labadi Beach The coastline of Accra is home to a large number of well-known beaches, which collectively make for some fantastic spots to have some fun and unwind. Labadi Beach commonly referred to as La Pleasure Beach, is one example of one of these beaches. Labadi Beach is consistently ranked as one of the busiest beaches along the coast of Ghana. Both the La Palm Royal Beach Hotel and the Labadi Beach Hotel are responsible for the upkeep of the beach. Both have done a good job of keeping up with the maintenance of this beach. On the weekends, it is not unusual to encounter a large number of people congregating at the beach. Labadi Beach which is one of the top 10 tourist spots in Ghana, is popular not just with Ghanaians but also with foreign tourists. This is because Ghanaians value leisure and entertainment highly. On the beach, some of the things you can participate in include dancing to the music coming from loudspeakers, playing games, and riding horses. If you would want to have some time to yourself at the beach, the weekdays are the best time to go to Labadi Beach because it is less crowded. Number 8. Cape Coast the Portuguese originally referred to Cape Coast as Capo Corso in the past. It was once the capital of a European colony in this area. Several years ago, the town was the most important center for the trade of slaves in all of West Africa. Slaves were purchased in this town and then held captive within the castles until they were ready to be sent to the Western world via ship. There is no shadow of a doubt that Cape Coast is one of the most culturally significant locations in Africa. The town of Cape Coast, as it exists now, is mostly a fishing village, and its streets are lined with historic colonial structures. Cape Coast is ideal for strolling thanks to the creative atmosphere that it exudes. You are welcome to make Cape Coast your home base while you go to other destinations like Kakam National Park, Elmina, and Anamabu. Number 7. Elmina Castle Elmina Castle, like Cape Coast Castle, is steeped in history and preserves important memories. The first European trading center for slaves to be established on African soil was located in Elmina Castle. During the 15th century, the Portuguese constructed the stronghold. It was under the hands of the British and the Dutch at the time, yet it was used by slave dealers traveling between the Caribbean and Brazil. The architecture of the castles places the opulent living quarters for the Europeans on the upper levels, while the dungeons that house the slaves with approximately 200 people housed in each cell, are situated on the lower levels. The Elmina Coast is a beautiful setting in which to reflect on the past and present of Africa. These grounds would be a dream come true for African history writers. A UNESCO World Heritage Monument label has been bestowed upon the castle, which is housed within the country's network of national museums. Number 6. Lake Bosomtwi. The lake, which has a depth of over 90 meters, was brought into existence when a big meteorite collided with our planet. Because the inhabitants of the Ashanti Kingdom consider the Crater Lake to be a sacred site, 
It attracts the attention not just of tourists, but also of the natives who live in the area. Folklore has it that before the spirits of the dead may move on, they must first make their final visit to Lake Bosomtui and bid farewell to the god of the Tuai. One of the top 10 places to visit for tourists in Gama is this lake, which is surrounded by trails that can be used for bicycling, hiking, and even horseback riding. If you are looking for a place to unwind by the water on the weekend, it would be a great destination for you to visit. Number 5. Lai Waterfalls This waterfall is consistently ranked as one of the best tourist attractions in Ghana. It is located in Volta, which is one of Ghana's regions, and it can be reached by car in around 5 hours from Accra, the nation's main city. The Lai Waterfalls, commonly referred to as Agumatsa Fall, is the location of the highest waterfall in Ghana and all of West Africa combined. Hiking at the top of the falls with your companions is an excellent way to add some excitement to your visit. Having said that, you should make sure to follow a guide. You will locate at the top of the falls the Shrine of the Minor Gods. It is said that the ancestors of this hamlet traveled from Togo to bring back this shrine. Number 4. Lakeside Marina Park one of the most popular destinations for tourists in Ghana is this recreational park. It first opened its doors in the year 2003. Because this location has a soothing vibe and the amenities are kept in excellent condition, the park has seen a consistent influx of guests over the past several days. The Lakeside Marina Park is an excellent location to visit if you would want to take your children on a tour. The park has a variety of games and play sets for children, such as swings and slides, among other activities. In addition, the Adult and Couples Recreation Park offers the opportunity to participate in water activities, such as paddling a canoe or a boat. Number 3. The Manhia Palace Are you a tourist who has an interest in the local customs and history? It would be a shame to pass up the opportunity to see the traditional ways of life practiced in Ghana notably in the Ashanti region. The Ashanti region is rather proud of its many chiefs, and one of the many positive aspects of this region is that its people still show a great deal of respect for those leaders. Additionally, the chiefs play significant responsibilities in the development of the nation. The Manhia Palace is home to the Asantehene of Asantman, who is considered to be one of the most powerful chieftains in all of the Ashanti region. It goes without saying that when you visit the Manhia Palace, you will be exposed to the full extent of the distinctive cultures that are found in the Ashanti region. You will also have the chance to speak with the influential leader if you take advantage of this meeting opportunity. Number 2. Kwain Krumah Memorial Park and Mausoleum The Kwain Krumah Memorial Park and Mausoleum are two of Ghana's most popular tourist destinations, ranking among the country's top 10 attractions. It is known as the ultimate resting site of Dr. Quain Krumah and his wife, and may be found in the city of Accra. The Quain Krumah Memorial Park should be at the top of your list of things to see in Ghana if you are interested in learning more about the history of Ghana's fight for independence while also having a good time touring the country. In addition to that, it has several unique artifacts that are connected to the fight for Ghana's independence. Number 1. Kumasi Zoological Gardens Kumasi is yet another lovely and vibrant city in Accra. It is Ghana's second largest city, coming in right behind Accra as the country's capital. Additionally, it can be found in the Ashanti region. The Kumasi Zoological Gardens is consistently ranked as one of the best tourist destinations in all of Ghana. The zoo first opened its doors in 1951 and eventually occupied an area of land that was equivalent to 1.5 square kilometers. The Kumasi Zoological Gardens are located in the same general vicinity as the Kumasi Center for National Culture and the ancient Kumasi Racecourse. Do you like it? Kindly give your valuable response in our comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting and informative videos.